Hi who there my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn and I'm excited about tonight's dinner. Let me tell you, it was a beautiful day here in Arizona today. It was 82 degrees and just the perfect weather. Not hardly a cloud in the sky and great warm temperatures. You know, in Arizona in the winter time, you kind of need winter clothes in the morning, summer clothes in the afternoon, and flannels later at night because it will chill down. And we don't run the heat because that's just a waste of money. It's not cold enough, long enough in the day to even warrant turning it on. Just put some flannels on and keep going. I know a lot of you live where it is very chilly. You might be freezing your tuchuses off. I'm so sorry, baby. Yeah, but uh, it was a beautiful day today. We did all kinds of things. We ran around town. We dropped things off here, there, and yonder. And um, yeah, we did all kinds. We rode around in the Jeep with the windows down. And let me tell you that I don't always like the Jeep because I think that when you have a wife who is short of stature, that it is completely um, ridiculous to have a lifted vehicle. Yeah, he's got to hoist me up and it's, oh, it's a production. But every once in a while, the weather is beautiful and I've got the window all cranked down and the wind. Yeah, it blew my hair all to Hades. I don't care. It was great and such a nice day just to be out riding around in the Jeep. We don't get a whole lot of those. What am I going to make for dinner tonight? I'm going to make a shrimp salad because it is still 74 degrees and the idea of a warm meal today just does not appeal so i'm gonna make a shrimp salad got these shrimps on sale over at my albertson's they were pre-cooked frozen a waterfront bistro product here let me get them and show you so this is how they came they're kind of pre-cooked they're frozen shell off tail on 51 to 60 so they're a little bit on the smaller side but that to me is the perfect size for a shrimp salad now the best part about this it was 32 ounces and i think i paid 8.99 for it so i think that's a pretty good price um i've used about two cups today that's how much i've thought for our shrimp salads melissa's not joining us for dinner today she's out helping cookie get ready for you know her adventure this weekend so i thought about two cups of these and i did go ahead and pull the little tails off for ease of eating but these were cleaned beautifully and um, they were deveined and peeled and all of those things pre-cooked so all i had to do was take them out run them under some cold water to thaw and we are in like flynn yay hooray Here's about the size of the 5160s. So they're not so small that you gotta, you know, you can barely see them, but they are just the perfect little bite, I think, for a salad. They're all thawed, they're all thawed out. They look terrific. Not mad at those one bit. Also, I had some romaine. Got this over from my Albertsons too. And it was filthy. It was absolutely just gross so i gave it a very thorough washing and i'm just gonna i've just been spinning it because i like my salad to be dry i don't want any of that water on my lettuce to dilute my salad dressing because for me yeah the best part of the salad is the dressing that's the part that i really enjoy so i've just been spinning that up and it is pretty dry all right i'm gonna pop this back in the refrigerator to keep it crispy and delicious while we assemble our salad dressing because that's the star of the show tonight yay hooray i am going to make a tartar sauce kind of a dressing for this shrimp salad it's one of my favorites i love a little tartar sauce and andrew prefers it to um cocktail sauce honestly i can go either way with my shrimp i love that spicy tang of a really good 
um, tartar or a really good um, cocktail sauce with lots of horseradish in it. But you know, he does not prefer it. And if I make too much of this salad dressing, um, I'm not worried one bit because we will use it on something else. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. I'm going to kill this jar of mayonnaise. And don't worry, I bought plenty when it was on sale. We still have several just waiting in the wings. Okay. Get this little wipe up here. All better. So I don't know. That's about half of a cup. Maybe three-fourths of a cup of mayonnaise. Yep. Not worried about it one bit. That'll be plenty. I also have some Dijon mustard. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard to this. Okay, you're making some obscene noises. We're on YouTube. you got to class it up a little bit here. We're getting down to the dregs. I'm going to have to get another one. Let's go ahead and stir that in. I like that little bit of bite. And I have a little bit of Worcestershire. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of that. Oh, maybe that's a teaspoon. You know, we can always taste it. Revisit it later if necessary. And I have some red wine vinegar. I'm going to put a few splashes of that. Any kind of vinegar will do. And give that a good stir up. What else? I have some Old Bay seasoning. Now, to me, um, Old Bay and seafood, thats that goes together just like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, absolutely. And I have a one teaspoon measure, and I am going to add one teaspoon, and that is going to be it. Now, Old Bay, surprisingly, is not that high in sodium. It actually surprised me that it was not terribly, terribly salty. But then when you think about it, it's billed as a seafood seasoning. And seafood, you know, because it comes from the ocean is already salty. It makes sense that it wouldn't be too overwhelming in the salt department. That's just gonna give us a good little spice to our dressing here. I also have some sweet pickle relish. That's my preference. And I'm going to just give this quite a few teaspoons, two, three, four teaspoons, just because I don't want to dirty up another teaspoon. Well, I'll have to get that in a minute. Give that a good wash up before I uh, put it back onto my pickle relish. I've had the clumsies all day long. Oh, I got that telephone to work. There was no message from my mom, but I was telling my sister about it and she said that she thinks she has a wave file from her cell phone with my mother's message to her on there. Hello, Melissa, this is your mother, George Yvonne. It was the same message every, you know, no matter which child she was calling. Got a little bit of dill weed. Anyhow, she's going to look for it in her files. And if she finds it, she said, I could share it with you all because really, it's just too funny. You've got to hear it. Yeah. So what we went and we dropped stuff off at the nursing home. Um, we went to Barnes and Noble and bought some puzzle books and some adult coloring books and some great stuff off of the bargain rack. And I love the bargain rack. When I worked at Barnes and Noble, that was my... Yeah, that was my nemesis. Like, I, ooh, new stuff comes in on bargain. I'm not going to make any money today. Yeah. No, no money for me. What else did we do? We rode around. Oh, we took our batteries. So, we don't put batteries into the trash can because, well, you're not really supposed to. They go to the landfill and then they'll break and leach, you know, all of the chemicals from the battery into your soil and maybe it gets into your drinking supply. I don't know. 
but you know, to err on the side of caution, we do not put our batteries into the garbage. But at Home Depot and Lowe's, they have a battery recycling center at the front of the store, and you can bring pretty much any kind of a battery except for a car battery um, and recycle it there. And your car batteries, you should be taking those back to like a the auto zone or the advanced auto or what have you uh, for your core feedback get that 20 bucks you don't know when you might need it you could take yourself to a halfway decent lunch somewhere for the 20 dollars maybe let's taste this dressing and see what it needs i'm betting that it needs a little bit of splenda and a little bit of lemon yep that's exactly what it needs Ooh, I got the tartness right though. That's good. That's got a good depth of flavor. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon and a half of the Splenda. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to buy a lemon. So we're gonna use lemon juice from a jar. From the squeeze bottle. And my lemons are not ready yet. They're getting big, but because our temperatures have not been that cold, um, they have not turned yellow yet. Typically, citrus season starts um, at the end of December and into March here in Arizona. So, yep, we don't have we don't have our big lemons yet, but they are getting big. And they look fantastic. Let's taste this and see if I got it right or if we're going to go again. But I don't care how many times it takes to test my food. I'll keep tasting and I'll use every spoon in this house until it's just right. Oh, that's nice. Just the right amount of lemon. I'm going to leave that out though because I might want to dress my salads with just a few little sprinkles of this. I'm not mad at this. This is a great, um, you don't have a fresh lemon, that'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. And then what I do, because I will have so many fresh lemons, I will squeeze them and put them into these containers and hopefully have enough to get me through most of the year. Yeah, I just thaw them out and then just, yeah, just give everything a little squeeze as, as the day goes on. Got my lid got my spoons gonna go do a little wash up real quick Ooh, that's so good that's delicious all right let's go ahead and assemble our salads I'm gonna need that knife don't want to put that away yet okay let's go ahead and I've got a little bit of cucumber here this is the last of my cucumber. My um, refrigerator bed drawer is getting mighty empty, which is awesome because on Friday, that's when the new truck comes in over at my 99 cents only store. And I'm gonna go down there and I am going to load up and just stuff that veg drawer full. Absolutely. I hope they get all kinds of great stuff in. It was a little meager last time I was there, but it was right after Black Friday, and I think that was the reason why. Anyhow, I hope people got all kinds of bargains. Um, their mushrooms have been so good. I have really been enjoying those, and the mushrooms are surprisingly fulfilling and wonderful and make my low-carb meals not seem, you know, so sad it, it, they feel kind of luxurious because i always think of mushrooms as being you know a uh more luxurious food here we go and these tomatoes are still so good and they have been super tasty and delicious and i'm gonna just cut those into thirds and we're each going to get a whole tomato on our salad today. Gave these a good wash up because my produce 
has been coming in awfully dirty. They've closed a few ports at our southern border. And so um, people that come over to work in the fields in southern Arizona, um, they're not making it to work or they're not making it to work in a timely manner. And they're having a difficult time picking the crops, getting everything to market, all of those things. So I guess one of the repercussions of that is that we're going to have to wash our produce a little bit more carefully. So I have my two cups of thawed shrimp. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw these right into the bowl. There we go. Now I mean I took my tails off, and if I have tails or if they still have they weren't deshelled, um, I take all of those things and I put them into a little bag and I put them into my freezer because I live in a landlocked state so I can't just go to a fishmonger and ask for some you know shells or what have you cast off um, to make a great seafood stock I have to save every little bit every little shell or tail or what have you until I get a big enough bag to make a great seafood stock. Otherwise, I have to pay full price for seafood to, you know, make my seafood stock. Now, they do sell something in the Hispanic foods section at my grocery store, and it is shrimp powder. And I just found that like two weeks ago. And I am very interested to try that to see if it makes a very good stock because that would certainly help me have more um, seafood uh, soups and chowders. I just love them. There's a place uh, not too far from our house um, called Taylor's Chowder House. And they have been there probably for 50 years. And I think that they have excellent clam chowder. Um, I was in San Francisco. I ordered clam chowder at a restaurant. And I didn't think it was nearly as good or fresh tasting as what I got over at Taylor's. I don't know what they do, but it was, it's spectacular. Anyhow, I miss eating there. I'm going to take about half of this dressing and go ahead and just dress these shrimps. And get that all incorporated on there. I don't care if they're a little bit overdressed, if they're a little bit sloppy, that's just fine because basically I'm going to make a pile of these shrimps on each one of our salad plates and we're going to call it a day. Another reason to do this um, right now is that I just noticed in my ad over at Fry's and at Albertson's, so my Kroger and my Albertson's Safeway that both of them had um, seafood on for the holiday. And I know, especially for a lot of Italians, that seafood is very common to have at the holidays. You know, I believe it's Sicilians that often have eel for Christmas. I, I, think, I, I think I read that somewhere sometime. Anyhow, so if you're into getting your holiday seafood on, I think this is a nice little a nice little yum yum bite and it's going to make a good dinner for us on a pretty warm day. I know it seems absurd that we have such warm days in December, but there was one year that I actually had the day off on Christmas and it was so warm and so beautiful. I put on shorts and a tank top and went outside and mowed my lawn in the front in the afternoon. And I just had the best time doing it. You know, we had had all of our Christmas things and what have you, and I, it was a beautiful warm day. Might as well go mow the lawn. All right, got my perfectly clean lettuce here. Yay, hooray. And I am going to make big salads. We like a lot of lettuce. I love romaine. If I had it, I'd put a little spinach in there too, you know, just like Popeye. There we go. I 
it's a good way to prevent dehydration. You know, it's got some fiber, it's got some stuff. You gotta be regular if you wanna be happy. But we try to have big salads um, at least once a week. They're not usually meat free, but um, they're usually pretty good, pretty hearty, pretty delicious. All right, I'm gonna take this cucumber and just go ahead and put it on the outside of my salad. I usually try to put the wettest ingredients around the outside because I don't want it to make my salad all soggy. Oh, I'm gonna have to steal a couple of cucumbers from Andrew. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's a more even distribution. And you don't think he'll count? Baby, he'll count. You have more cucumbers than me. And let's go ahead and put the tomatoes on there. Yay, hooray. I do try to make my salads look as attractive as possible because, you know, part of the pleasure of eating is how it looks. And when it's something like a salad, you know, anybody's impressed by a great big, you know, ribeye steak or, or, you know, prime rib or, you know, a great big salmon filet or something like that. But, you know, you really kind of have to dress up when you're just serving a salad, it's got, it's, it needs, it's, yeah, it needs all the accoutrements and all, you know, a little black dress. Also have some of these marinated artichokes. And I thought, yeah, to go with the shrimp, the artichokes would be delicious. A little bit fancy. I like the marinated artichokes from Costco the best. Um, and they are the most affordable that I have found here in the valley, but um, you know, I'm due for a Costco run and I'm just, I'm in no hurry to get there. I'm waiting until after the holidays. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for after the holidays when their spring garden items come out. And that's another thing that I did today. So I've been working on my cactus garden. It needed a little revamp. And so it got weeded. And I pulled all of the pups and replanted them throughout the yard and did all the things. Well, I had some solar lights and I really wanted to highlight the um, cactus garden. Also, I wanted to illuminate it a little bit for safety reasons too, because sometimes they're out there roaming around at family dinner and I don't want them to trip and fall and fall into the cactus garden. You know, they, they they need the help. So yeah, I was out there messing around tonight right before I came in to make dinner, just rearranging the lights a little bit because you think you put them where you want them, but at night the shadows fall differently and anyhow, it'll be a little bit of a process, but we'll get there. Okay, there's a shot of the cactus garden all illuminated at night. I think I need three more solar lights to really do it justice, but I think it looks pretty. Okay, and I've got still working on this jar of roasted red peppers. I, yeah, love these. I think these are so good and delicious and we'll just kind of scatter them around Yup, just like that. Fantastic. That little bite of pepper with the sweetness of that um, shrimp and that tart dressing, that should be the perfect bite. Yeah, absolutely. So did you do anything fun or exciting today? Tell me down below. And I have to say, so my last TV trivia question was about the Bob Newhart show. And what was the neighbor's name? The neighbor's name was Howard. Everyone got the name correct. Yeah, the neighbor's name was Howard. Um, but the, the stumper was what did he do for a living? 
and you all got really, really close. So a lot of guesses that he was a pilot, but he was actually a flight navigator that he had flunked out of pilot school and that was his backup position. And he was a scatterbrain, you know, he was kind of, you know, touched by an angel. Anyhow, yeah, Howard and, and, and nice guy, you know, always needing to borrow something, always wanting to come to dinner. I would have fed him, absolutely. All right, these look terrific. We have a couple of minutes until, until Jeopardy. And I don't want to put the shrimp on too early. I'm, I'm going to pop these into the refrigerator just to keep these crispy and delicious. So far, so good. I think that looks fantastic. Anyhow, um, I'm going to pop these in to keep them crisp and fresh and yummy. And we'll come back in just about 15 minutes. Put the shrimps on those. Add a little extra salad dressing. And it's almost time for Jeopardy. Yay, hooray. All right, my lovies, it's time for classic TV trivia time. Yay, hooray, hot diggity on Gilligan's Island. How many of the castaways can you name? Tell me down below. I loved Gilligan's Island. You know, if they could have just gotten rid of Gilligan, they probably would have gotten off that island. Okay, my lovies, it's showtime. So I got my shrimps and my salads out of the refrigerator. Like I said, these are pretty heavily dressed, but that is pretty much going to be the dressing and the sauce for our salad. Each of us is going to get about one cup of the shrimps. Yay, hooray. I'm just gonna pile those right on top. And he can count them if he wants to, that's fine. I don't care. just about as equally as I can get them. Maybe just a little bit of that extra salad dressing right on top, won't hurt a bit. And if he decides that he wants a little extra dressing, well, he can just go for it, have at it. We're also going to have some of these no salt, um, gluten free, fun free um, crackers. They're not terrible, but you know, they take some getting used to. Anyhow, I'm gonna have six. Well, I'm gonna have seven. And he can have a little pile on the edge of his plate too. Just that little crunch factor, yeah. I'll, I'll crush mine on top and then I'll save a couple for, you know, snacking on the side. Those are going to be terrific. All right. That's what's for dinner tonight. Shrimp salads. think they look good no matter what time of year it is. I hope some nice seafood is going on sale in your neck of the woods. Maybe I'm going to just take a little bit of this lemon juice and just sprinkle it around the outside for that extra little bit of freshness and delight. There we go. Little cracked black pepper won't hurt a bit. Yeah, I think those look fun and festive. Serve these for dinner. Serve these for a special lunch. Yeah, absolutely good anytime as far as I'm concerned and they smell fantastic. All right my lovey, be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.